Oh, hey, what's going on, everybody? Sorry, caught me slipping a little bit there. I was checking out this new set of headphones. But anyway, speaking of headphones, uh, let's talk about these guys. All right, before we get started, I just want to make you guys aware uh, that is the world's only nonprofit charity uh, audio reviewer. Uh, we are not sponsored by anybody. We do not get paid by anybody. Um, we are not influenced by anybody as far as our reviews go. Uh, what I'm bringing to you guys is just my experience, my thoughts. Um, based on the gear that I have, the ear that I have, the room that I have. Uh, and if you want to be a part of the charity work that we're doing, check out the links in the Discord or check out the links in the description. Uh, we've raised over $3,000 for charity this year and uh, we want to keep continuing that work. So jump in, be part of it. Here we go. All right, so if you have not heard of ETA Audio, uh, make sure you go check them out, man. They've got a few products that they have uh uh, available some different types of headphones that they're designing I think one of the really cool things for me is when you go to their website the first thing you notice is they're like we want to be disruptive you know they want to change the face of audio they want to bring something that you know isn't being done and I think one of the coolest things for me is you know working you know with them uh, in kind of setting up this review and, and, and meeting them at Pacific Audio Fest uh, it was really cool to see how they're just kind of like thinking outside the box they're they design all their own drivers. They design all their own uh, headphones. You know, basically everything that goes around your ear is all 3D printed. It's engineered. It's constructed by them. And they're just doing some really, really cool things uh, inside the headphone space. And they want to be disruptive. They want to kind of like just be outside the box and make everybody think like, oh man, what's going on here? This is pretty cool. And uh, so the ones we're going to be talking about today are the ETA... Um, mini SC, uh, semi-closed back, kind of like a hybrid deal. Uh, so let's take a look at them. All right, so taking a look at these guys, uh, here they are. These are the uh, ETA Audio uh, Mini SCs, uh, kind of a hybrid, semi-closed back, all 3D printed, fully over the ear. Uh, they make all their own pads. Everything here is done by ETA Audio, designed and built. Uh, they use a third-party headband at this point. They're kind of, kind of just, you know, just getting their feet wet, just starting to go and 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 get everything designed. All right, so let's talk about how these feel. Um, when I was auditioning these, I was traveling as well, so I was doing. You know, five out five hour flights across the country, uh, lots of like cab rides, you know, things like that. So I really got a good feel for kind of the comfort of them. And that was really one of the things that I noticed is uh, for me, there was really minimal fatigue as far as like uh, long term wearing. And I think that just, be, you know, because of the fact of a nice open ear with good pads and, and you know, these are pretty lightweight, uh, but really, really overall comfortable for me to wear uh, long term. And um, the build design was really nice. You know, they just fold up really clean uh, and they go away. Uh, the pads aren't super, super thick. Some of the pads you see on some of these headphones are just big, fat, meaty things. And uh, I really like kind of what I would call their minimalist approach. You know, the profile of everything is pretty small. You know, some of these headphones you're seeing are just getting massive and they're just, you know, kind of bulky and um so i really like that aspect of it but super comfortable fit really well uh the headband uh it's third party kind of like i said uh, they're using these studio monitor ones but not bad at all and you can kind of flex them around to kind of loosen up and get to your flavor uh padded well enough on top uh, that i didn't feel any pressure on top of the head over over long periods of time there wasn't a lot of in inward pressure either they just kind of fit over and, and set really well uh, at least with me so um, that's kind of the fit and feel of those uh, really cool all right so let's talk about the sound of the mini sc from eta audio and if you want to kind of find out the specs uh, of some of the stuff that they use. You know, I know they design all their own drivers. They've got a bunch of really cool concepts uh, for new drivers coming out. Uh, so maybe we start this sound thing on the low end. 
You know, where is our our base, uh, you know, upper base, lower mids kind of coming into play here. And what I will say is, you know, of all of the headphones that I have had, um, these are by far the most well-rounded headphone uh, that I have heard. Uh, and I listened to quite a quite a bit of them at, at Pacific Audio Fest and Expona, some really, really high-end ones that do some really cool stuff. Uh, but for me, uh, the low end of these, the bass, the first thing that you will notice as an audiophile, you put these headphones on and, you, and that bass starts to hit and you're like, oh, that's something special right there. Like that bass is impactful, uh, punchy, clean, tight. Like I, I remember when I first heard them, I was like, How'd you guys do this bass? Like I've heard some pretty bass, uh, you know, heavy headphones that that do bass pretty well, but this is what I would kind of say is like audiophile bass, super tight, crisp, clean, fast, uh, digs way deep, doesn't get muddy. There's no, you know, um, you know, chuffiness or or kind of floppiness about it. You know, it, it just it keeps intact uh, really, really well, uh, even when listening to some tracks that. Uh, really push kind of low. Uh, one of the tracks that we used was that uh, James Blake, I believe, Listen to Your Love or, or something like that. Uh, and that song gets really going. And it's got a good like mids and highs kind of stuff too. But when it gets into that one section where it kind of jumps into the chorus or whatever and that bass starts hitting, uh, it just remains absolutely intact. And that kind of blew me away. And, that, and that, that's one that really digs deep. So you can really kind of get a vibe for it. So uh, that track was really cool. Uh, one of the other tracks we kind of listened to test kind of the bass out was that, um, what is it? I got it up here. Hold on. Oh, the drum solo by Manu uh, Cache, I believe. I'll put, a, I'll put the picture of it up here in the review. But uh, that is a drum solo that that gets into that kick drum and uh, it'll take you through the whole range, you know, dropping the dropping the uh, cymbals and the snare and all that snap and kick fast, you know, super super quick and agile bass uh, and it's kind of a live recording, so it's a really and and it it digs deep. It's a really really good one. But um, one thing I noticed about that was the reality, the realness of the bass. So in these headphones that. When, when that kick drum's hitting, like you're you're feeling it, you know, you're you're feeling the the uh, the kick drums, you know, sound and the depression and the foot pedal and the hitting and everything going and there's just a realness and a life likeness to it that is really awesome, uh, and it doesn't kind of get sloppy at all. It just remains tight and quick. So really good for the bass. Uh, and one thing I noticed is that kind of pushed up into the lower mids as well. That mid range when you get into those lower vocals. Uh, you know, kind of really held together too, and and that 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 performance kind of pushed up throughout the uh, the frequency range. So uh, that's my take on the bass. Uh, as we get up kind of into the mids, uh, one thing I noticed that that meat on the bones, that reality that that the uh, the SC had, you know, in the low frequencies, kind of pushed up into the mid range a little bit. Uh, and 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 really kind of held its own in that space, you know. Listening to uh, Peppery Man, uh, it's got some really good vocals ranging from male to female in there. Uh, absolutely stunning, um, really really good definition. Just a robustness to it. Uh, again, kind of a lifelike reality uh, in room, if you will. Uh, I was really really impressed there with those vocals. Uh, listening to the Ghost of Johnny Cash, uh, Sound of Silence, and some of those other songs. Um, you know, that, that vibrato, that, you know, deep that comes through there, man, it just sounds so good. Um, and kind of moving into that space was really, really nice, really held together, sounded really great. And then moving kind of into the upper register of vocals, you know, listening to, uh, uh, the sea by Aerie, uh, that has kind of a really kind of upper mid register female vocal pushing up in there. Uh, again, just remained clean and clear and just defined and sounded really, really good. Um, overall, uh, throughout the uh, bass and mids, vocals, both male and female, just a really good robustness, meat on the bone, and, and a kind of a life likeness to them all. So really impressive all across the board there. 
Uh, as we get up kind of into the treble range, one of the one of the ones that I like to do is "Summer Madness" by Cool and the Gang. Uh, if you've ever listened to this this song, there's this space in there where they start hitting the keyboards, and it kind of and it gets like super super bright and it's just off the charts, and then it has this super long decay that just goes away forever. Uh, and that's really, really a good test track to kind of see how uh, a speaker or a headphone will kind of hold up in that space as far as the treble's concerned. Um, and these did not disappoint. Um, I was kind of thinking as we moved up through, you know, with that lower end kind of being emphasized, the mids, the vocals being kind of robust and, and forward and pronounced, you know, I was thinking maybe that would kind of muddy that high end up a little bit, but it didn't. I felt like the high end shined through. Uh, it was focused and clean and clear, not bright or harsh uh, like I've heard some headphones be. Uh, it was had a nice sweetness to it. Overall, like I said, just a really well-balanced, uh, full tonal stage uh, for all the music that we auditioned to. Um, and if you want to hear kind of some of the songs that I use to audition these headphones, uh, I will put the links in the description. Uh, to the uh, playlist that we use, the ABX Audio Files 2023. But overall, very impressive uh, sound. Uh, I would not disappoint. I would not be disappointed. Um, at $499, I believe, is what these are. You're not going to go wrong at that price. I would highly recommend these headphones at that at that price. Okay, so let's talk about, because I don't think as reviewers we do enough of this, let's talk about what I didn't like about these headphones. First of all, what I didn't like about these headphones, and I talked a lot about it, um, you know, about my traveling and stuff. So being kind of a semi-opened back headphone, uh, when I was traveling, especially on the plane, um, I felt like I had to really just max that volume out to kind of get the, um, you know, external noises kind of tamped down. They're not a noise-canceling headphone. Um, again, this isn't anything against ETA audio or these headphones specifically. And I think this kind of would transfer across from any kind of semi open back or open back headphone. Um, but that's all I could find really at the end of the day. Um, if you are traveling or, or, you know, out kind of in noisy areas, maybe this headphone isn't going to be for you. Maybe you want to look at something more closed back, closed off, uh, which they do. They have the, uh, ETA uh, mini um, C, I think it's it's all closed back, um, so you can check that out. Uh, I don't have those in for review. Um, other than that, I'm just excited to see these guys kind of refine their uh, designs and their look. Uh, it's still kind of you can kind of see it's still kind of in a DIY stage. We've got third party headbands and stuff. Uh, we could definitely see some improvement there. Uh, you know, we've still got the 3D printed kind of look and vibe to it, although I like that. It's kind of minimalist, cool, like, you know, deal. So if they just stayed like this, I would be cool with that. But some people might be thrown off with that. I don't know, 3D printed stuff. Um, but other than that, the open back kind of thing, external noise, um, and then maybe just excited to kind of see them move outside of kind of like a DYI type level and kind of more into a commercial uh, deal. I guess that's the only thing that I could really find for these. But still, even with all that at $4.99, no brainer, bro. No brainer. All right. So kind of wrapping this thing up at the end of the day, like I said, uh, $499, uh, ETAaudio.com. Absolutely a fantastic uh, set of headphones. Uh, we've got their O2s in-house that we're getting ready to review. We'll probably do those a little bit later. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned on that. Uh, really, really cool USA-based company. Uh, all stuff designed in-house by them all the way down to the drivers. Uh, three really, really cool dudes. Make sure you check them out, etaaudio.com. Uh, and uh, appreciate you all being here. Have a great day.